10-time defending Big 12 champion Baylor takes on Kansas State for the first time this season. Wildcats hunting for win number one in the Big 12. It's near six rebounds a game from Carr. They're not in the lineup today. Ranky, who's been battling injury and COVID protocol, step back three quarter from Ranky. She's seven straight double-figure games. She just brings it all. She's so athletic. She's got a nose for the basketball, and she can score in, in multiple ways. Games double-digit scoring. And she brings the full package as well. We've talked about Myrna Urson as a guard player, but Alyssa Smith, with her ability to play defense and to score the basketball, she's also the full package. He beats them out for an offensive board. And a second chance for K-State. Richards, one of the Big 12 best defenders, knocks away the ball on a crossover from Goodrich. Ball still loose on the ground. Everybody diving for it. And a tie-up will favor the Baylor Bears. Carrington lines up a three-pointer and hits this one makes that pass more difficult, they, that's where the turnover numbers go up. What a find by Richards to Nalissa Smith. A 9-0 run now by the Bears. Carrington lines up another, hits another. An opportunity with the pass. Here comes the lob to the top, leads, turns against three defenders, scores, she's in double figures. And Carrington. Hits another three, her third. Ball goes into Ray, kick back out. Goodson hits a three-pointer. That's the second of the game for K-State. What a scorer she was in the high school ranks. Louisiana Player of the Year, a steal now. Ebert has it pickpocketed by Carrington. All the way to the other end, lays it in. Goodwich takes a long jumper and hits. It's been a tough first half for Simone Goodrich. She's had a couple turnovers just simply because of the pressure out front by Baylor, but steps up for the long jumper. Big goal, a trailing three. How about the Bears from behind the arc? Six of 11 in this first half. Hovering near Lee, Mackey will drive. Ranky, a three-pointer. That time doesn't score, but finds a shooter open in the corner. And Smith, who's been guilty of a couple of fouls, let her go. Carrington, though, feeling it, comes back with her fourth three of the game. Goodwich left open. In and out. Baylor, what a pass from Richards to find Carrington. Plays a lot, so just about eight today for K-State. Goodrich hit one earlier, not able to hit that one. Gets the rebound. Ranky left open. Hits another three-pointer. Ranky in the start today has certainly brought it with a three-point shot. That's her third. And a turnover by Carrington. Sloppy play by Bla Baylor today, no doubt. This will not please Kim Mulkey. Give credit to K-State's defense. They have not given up in a season where they are 0-8. Good pass, Ranky to find Lee. For Goodrich who is able to miss the layup on the other end. A minute opportunity blown by K-State. Huge one miss, but Grace Hustle plays by both players. And then Baylor getting back in transition and Alyssa Smith able to finish. Said, largely to the point of talking about K-State being in every game as Goodwin gets another jump. And they have made Baylor have to work for their opportunities to score. On the flip side, a lot of pressure and a lot of contact inside and a lot of traffic around Iowa Lee. Stopped by the Wildcats. Eber trying to get that ball in. Urson deflects it. She's got to run out the other way. Scores it. So much to your game. I said 12. She has 14. Here's Mackey again blowing right past Smith all the way to the basket. Laura Mackey has eight points. Conference players make big time shots. She's done that. Kansas State, though, has really stayed competitive this afternoon. Goodrich, another long-range jumper. Simone Goodrich with six points.